Um, John McDonnell, um, you talked today with adamant that n you would never share a platform uh, with the Tories on this EU referendum campaign, even if it would mean that l squeezing that last drop of Remain voter, you would not share a uh, platform with the Tories. We've seen what's happened within the Tory party. It's like a pub brawl that's going on. And I think they're demeaning the, the debate overall. I think they've lost it. They've lost control of this whole debate. People on the doorstep are saying time and time again to me, we just want the facts, we want your vision for Europe, and they want a, kind, a considered debate. That's why I don't want anything but, to do with this Tory debate. Well, but, well, we'll talk about uh, the, the vision thing in a moment. But I'd just like to say one more time. Imagine it's incredibly close. You're in the last week and you have to make a last push. Are you so concerned um, about your, keeping away from the Tories for history, not least Scotland, so concerned about keeping away from the Tories that you wouldn't share a platform and say, we are going to put our differences aside because we believe so strongly in the European Union. You wouldn't even it do wouldn't that. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. It would turn people off because my, any association with what's going on the Tory party at the moment is turning people off. The people we need to get out there and vote now are Labour voters you and young what? people in particular. But don't you think the very thing you're saying is that what people want to see is a vision and even if you have different views within your policy in the EU, what you're actually saying is that even if people want me to stand on that platform it with George be... Osborne and I, I won't do it because I won't do it because of my own politics. No, not at all. That's, you're not listening because it would be counterproductive. I want to win this debate. I want us to remain within Europe. Any association with this Tory brawl that's going on would undermine that ability to win that debate. Let's move on and talk about Labour in the north-east of England and the, a lot of the problems that you have in the north-east of England because a lot of... Uh, Labour supporters become very Eurosceptic over the issue of jobs and yet today perhaps for the very first time we have heard a member of the Labour leadership gave a full-throated endorsement to the free movement of people. Shall I tell you why? Because free movement of pe people is a condition of being part of the EU and part of that single market that we so desperately need. And in the North East, it's interesting you, you cite the North East, because that's where many, for example, car manufacturing in particular has been developed. The reason it's been developed there is because it's the base then to enter into the European market overall. So the protection of jobs is absolutely key to but me. Do you understand Labour members' fears of, of immigration? Of course from I do. And actually, you know, we did a program, uh, you know, from Boston, and we were told by people there who were Labour supporters, this is a disaster for us and our children. We will not get jobs. Of course I understand their concerns, but we've got to have a rational debate, and that's why I'm worried about this project fear that is coming from both sides of the Conservative Party at the moment. It's not allowing a rational debate on things like immigration, because the issue around immigration itself is one we have to address. But the issues around jobs, the issues around housing and public services is because of government failure Tory government failures. But with respect, you cannot address the issue of immigration within the EU because you've signed up to free movement of people. So it's not about immigration within the EU. It is about arguing the case that what signing up to the free movement of people does for us enables our people to tr go into Europe and have jobs as well. It does mean people coming here at a time we need them in our economy to grow our economy, which will then enable us then to have jobs for everybody. You called the European Union a super state based on capitalism. You consistently voted against further integration. You were one of the biggest banes of Tony Blair's life as an EU rebel. Can you put your hand on your heart and say you truly back the EU? Uh, let me be absolutely clear what I've been saying consistently. I believe we should be within Europe. I do not believe the European institutions as they stand now actually function effectively. They need to be more open, more democratic. So I'm campaigning to remain within Europe, within the EU, but to reform the EU. Um, I want to put a quote to you. It's easier for people to imagine the end of the earth than the end of capitalism. And that's what we are about. That sounds like the John McDonnell we know. Well, that's uh, a quote from a guy called Jameson. Which you quoted in uh, an article quote, in The New Yorker right. I quoted this month. back, and I want to transform our economic system. So you don't believe um, in capitalism? I don't believe capitalism serves the interests of our country at the moment. So do you we want need the end reform. of capitalism? I want to transform our economic system. That means transforming capitalism. And that means working through institutions like the European Union to make sure they're more open and democratic so we can break the neoliberal stranglehold there is on economic okay. policy within Europe. So you want to change capitalism 
but you're happy to be in a club, the same club as the IMF, Martin Sorrell, CBI and Goldman Sachs. And I want to challenge their power within that club. You, you cannot... Sh if you're outside the European Union at the moment, on economic policy, it means you'll be shouting but down the letterbox. You will not be in there negotiating. You will not be working alongside other socialist and social democratic parties and other progressive movements to transform Europe. To work for the end of capitalism. To transform our economic system. That means transforming capitalism. Uh, let's move on now to talk about anti-Semitism. No, first, um, uh, Baroness Janet Royal was looking into anti-Semitism uh, uh, at Oxford and she said Labour members should, who are guilty of anti-Semitism should not be out of the party for life. What's your view on that? I took a very strong view on this, that I think if it's serious enough, I don't want these people to be members of our party. So we have a difference of view on that. But I feel we have to be any form of racism now. Wherever it is, particularly if it's in our party, we have to be extremely firm and that's what I want to be in the future. So she has written this report, so presumably that's going to be binned? No, that report will go before our National Executive Committee. It will influence our policies in the future. Um, let's just talk briefly about Ken Livingstone. Can he ever be a member of the party again? I don't want to prejudge and, and under, undermine the due process that he will need to go through through our, our but disciplinary you, but system. But you were saying that anybody who has been guilty of anti-Semitism can, can't be a member of the party. I, you can't make an every, exception for Ken Livingstone. But I, everybody has to have a fair process. Okay. I can't influence that process in advance of it. it would, whether it's Ken Livingstone or any individual member, I can't do that. Okay. I've made my view absolutely clear about what I feel right. about anti-Semitism and if someone is being anti-Semitic within our party, I've made my view absolutely clear. It is for the due process within our party, the real authorities, to judge whether yeah. that took well, those, place with those, Ken. As you said yourself and as Jeremy Corbyn says, these uh, in, uh, these committees will be independent entirely. Yes. So if they're entirely independent, then you can say what you want right now and it won't no, have any impact because, on no, the committee. I'm sorry, it, whatever I say now, it will have some influence and I do not want to prejudge that or prejudice it in any way.